All right, what's up, DJ Connect? Today we're gonna be learning how to delete just the duplicate files. So today we're just gonna be really digging in how to get rid of all of your duplicate tracks that you might not need. Um, and like a good aspect of this would be like if you have like 96 kilobyte per second tracks, <laughs> garbage, get rid of it. Like honestly, anything under 192 these days, like it's, it's trash, you don't wanna play it just because of like, how advanced like there's high def sound out there so you want to be providing high def sound too because if you're using low bit rate stuff in this day and age like as long as you got legit speakers people are going to notice and they're going to they're going to hear that it's not good so anything under 192 like that immediately is a way to delete that right away so shout out mac joseph right now he um dropped a sick program yesterday in the comments so i'm going to run it through with everyone i feel like everyone should um, know about this program it's called dupe guru uh, i'll show you how to find it how to install it and how to use it uh, and then how to delete all of your duplicate files that you might not need um, and this is a good chance for everybody to make fun of me and my organization um, i have so many duplicates in my drive but I, I don't really care that they're um duplicates because i have um a different way to make my crates like i make different crates for different nights and stuff like sometimes i'm just like testing something so i'll make a whole crate structure for that if i'm just testing a new style or something so when i'm um sorting my music i'll drop it everywhere so I, i'll have duplicates but what's good about that for me at least like i don't care if one day i just want to delete the whole um the whole night like the whole structure that i have i know that i can i can delete the whole thing and i'm not gonna like delete the song that i need because it's everywhere uh it's definitely in a few different locations like i have it in the genre whatever it is like the hard genre it's in that folder and then it might be in like this night or that night or maybe it's like a lounge night like i only want like chill out music for a lounge type vibe so i'll only put that kind of music there so long story short we're gonna jump into this program it's called dupe guru and I will see you over there uh, but first off make sure you like and subscribe to this fire if you love stuff like this all you're gonna do is help other DJs if this is helping you out at all I truly hope so because this is all I do it for is to help other DJs get there if you know DJs who are struggling like right now just like smash that like smash that to subscribe because it just gets this out to more people and helps more people out there so let's hop over it right now all right, so we're just gonna hop over here to Google, um, and I looked this up before. It's called Hard Coded, was what it used to be called, um, Dupe Guru. So we're gonna get this one. It's this one here at Voltal Ideas. Uh, hit this one, Dupe Guru finds duplicate files. This is the one. So I'm on Windows 64 bit. I'm gonna hit this one. Obviously, whichever one you guys are on, um, that's the one you're gonna wanna use. If you're on Mac, use Mac. Uh, Ubuntu, if you're rocking Linux these days, definitely hit Ubuntu. Uh, save right here. Uh, I already have it in the folder here. So wherever you save it, make sure you go there. Double click. Yes. Setup is loading. English. Next. I agree. Uh, install anyone using the computer is fine. So hard-coded software. This is the one you can see right here. That's who they were before. They rebranded. Uh, but make sure you get the hard-coded just so you know you're not getting a virus or something install boom i hit finish let's load it up dupe guru my drive is in i'm scared of what's gonna come up here let's actually check the settings out real quick uh help view show target bar exclusions list options check the options you can mix file kind expressions filtering Remove empty folders on delete. Like if you're gonna be clearing full folders, that could be a good option to have right here. Remove empty folders. Uh, ignore files smaller, that could be good. Uh, ignore duplicates, hard linking to the same file. So we wanna see all that. Display, dark style. It's normally what I would use, but let's take the video. Let's not do that. Debug. All right. Everything looks good here. No other options. All right. So you got a few options here. We're obviously going to hit music. Um, let's just search file name. So there's a lot of different options you can go by, like your tags. I'm just going to do file name for the sake of the video. I know a lot of stuff is going to pop up here. So prepare to make fun of me. Uh, I'm just going to check the options on that. 
Um, so if you were using like um, tags, you can kind of choose which tags. Uh, similar words, it's important. That could do like, that could pull remixes. So and that actually may make it a lot longer for this stuff to load. So I'm not gonna do it for now. Uh, but that, that is something that I will do in the future um, when I have time. I'll, I'll see how long it takes and then go from there. Um, anyways, ignore duplicates. Remove empty folders. Just the same options, which is good. That's fine. All right. Here we go. Here we go. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, and right now is a great time to tell you guys, make sure you always back up your drive before you do things like this. I definitely backed up my drive before this. I would never do this without backing up. So right here, right now, make sure you back up your hard drive. Do not do this without a backup hard drive. That's my disclaimer for the video and let's get to it. So now we hit scan. We've got our hard drive here, which is the M right here, Serato new. M, that's where we're scanning. Let's hit it. This is obviously gonna take forever to do, so let's give it some time. Two hours later. All right, so I'm not even gonna beat around the bush here. It finally loaded and it was, uh, it's been four hours later. Um, so I went through my entire hard drive, um, which is two terabytes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, did it pull anything? No, it doesn't give me like a number of exact matches, but there's a lot. Like there is a ton here. Um, first things first, I'm definitely going to delete anything that's like not quality. Like anything, 320 is good, obviously, but uh, I think I talked about this earlier. Anything under like 192 really can just go. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm not going to delete too much, but uh, I will delete some. Um, honestly, like I should just delete, like this is all, um, eight kilobit, 32 kilobit. I wish I could delete the original file too, but, but it's only letting me delete the, um, duplicate. That's fine for now. I don't think any of this stuff is important. Uh, just for the sake of the video, I'm going to delete these couple things and then, uh, I'm going to call it a day here. Build me up buttercup. Uh, well, we have the original, so I think we're good. All of these, like, now you're going to be saving a lot of space, like, uh, showing you down here, 61 megabits so far. So I'm going to click a ton of these, and then I'll hop back once we're ready to delete. All right, so I have a ton of duplicates loaded up right now. I just pick like 100, 200, and we're just going to delete them right here. So send marked to recycle bin. That's the next step. Uh, link deleted files, 151 to the trash. Proceed. So that's essentially it with this program here, Dupe Guru, uh, really dope. I, I just got put onto it, so shout out to Mac right here. Uh, this is definitely gonna help me clean up a lot of stuff because if you see here, I have non-stop amounts of duplicates. Um, like this, this is a lot of space. Uh, I wonder, there's definitely gotta be ways to like batch, um, select everything. Um, obviously you're gonna wanna make sure you know um, what track is what, like, like right here, look how many duplicates there are of this of this track, and they're all massive. So 13 megabytes. I, right here is probably like a few hundred uh, megabytes altogether. Um, yeah, like if I deleted that right there, that's 200 megabytes free. So there is a lot of options. This program's really awesome. If you want to get rid of all of your duplicates, um, this doesn't work great for me just because of the way that I do my crate structure. I have lots of duplicate kind of crates, but it changes based on the night and like the, what kind of music I'm going to be playing. Um, but if you're someone who just has everything in one folder, this is an amazing thing that you want to do. I don't really do it that way. So this doesn't work too well for me, but this worked amazing for like deleting all the stuff with bad bit rate. Like I can spend another four or five hours just going through here, deleting all of this 128 because even 128, um, in this day and age, like that's pretty low bit rate. I can pretty well go through here, wipe all of this stuff, anything under to me i'd say 192 is kind of my minimum uh but like 320 is important so you can see to there to 192 that's like another four or five hundred tracks that i can get rid of right here right now
Um, so yeah, if you guys like this kind of stuff, make sure you guys smash like and subscribe and let me know um, how you guys take care of your duplicates, uh, what you guys do for your kind of your cleaning up your crates. And I will see you on the next one. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.